So yes, you are not dreaming. This is real life. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So you saw in that quick little intro, I could not contain my excitement. Post has just released peanut butter, cocoa, and pebbles. And I know you all are probably worried, but don't worry, they are using real peanut butter and cocoa. So uh, I don't know why it took so long for this to come out. I'm a huge fan of uh, regular OG Cocoa Pebbles as well as Fruity Pebbles. And I will go on record as saying that the Fruity Pebbles, the new edition of Marshmallows to Fruity Pebbles, might be, just might be, my favorite cereal ever. Correct. If you haven't tried Fruity Pebbles with Marshmallow, give it a shot. So we're gonna pop this box open and check out the possible goodness of peanut butter and cocoa pebbles. Here we go. All right, there you go. Up close and personal at the peanut butter and cocoa pebbles. All right, the bowl has been poured. Let's give it a smell. Yeah, uh, chocolate peanut butter. Very, very uh, distinct uh, smell of peanut butter, but I will say a slight uh, artificial uh, smell as well. There you go, up close and personal. Don't want to drip all over everything, so wish me luck. The peanut butter and cocoa pebbles, long time coming. I've thought of this in my mind, and now it is a reality today. Thanks, Post. All right, so what I'm gonna first say is the first taste, which I was anticipating, could you tell, um, was a very nice taste of peanut butter, not too overwhelming. I was worried about that. I was like, okay, is this going to be too much uh, peanut butter over the top? I was hoping for a nice mixture. So first bite, nice little mixture of the cocoa as well as the peanut butter. If I had to say what I am tasting most, it's probably the peanut butter. So one more bite. All right, yeah. So this is good. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I'm a tad bit disappointed, and I don't know why. It tastes like peanut butter, it's got the uh, cocoa flavor, but uh, there's something missing to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it could be a little more sweet. Maybe there could be a little more of the uh, cocoa flavor. But yeah, I don't know. It's like not wowing me. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is a good cereal. But when you kind of put your expectations up here, which I try not to do, but I mean, this is uh, peanut butter and cocoa pebbles. But uh, one more bite. I was hoping to like it more. It is good, but there is just something missing. I think it does need a little more chocolate, maybe because I'm used to uh, the normal OG Cocoa Pebbles, so I don't know. So side note, are you guys a uh, side of the bowl scraper when you eat your cereal? If you see some of the cereal kind of get stuck to the side of the bowl, do you do the old uh, side scrape? I'm a side scraper, that's for sure, but uh, I don't know what it is with any cereal. I like to get it all down into the mix. All hands on deck, everyone in the pool. I don't know, that's just what I do. Let me know if you're a side scraper in the uh, comments below. Oh yeah. And just like any of the uh, Pebbles brand. And that kind of throws me off a little bit. You do realize that this cereal is named after their daughter. It's kind of cannibalistic when you think about it. These are Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles, uh, Marshmallow Fruity Pebbles, and now Peanut Butter and Cocoa Pebbles. Pebbles. It's their daughter. Think about it. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the peanut butter and cocoa pebbles a rating of 84. I'm going to give it an 84. When my head first went down, I was like 85. Then I picked it up. I said, no, there was something missing from this. You may like it. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried this? They're kind of trickling out right now. I found these at Walmart, $3.98 for the 20 ounce box. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, social media, getting the word of my channel 
out to the masses. In closing, like I said, let me know if you've seen these already, if you tried these. If not, are you intrigued? Are you a uh, Pebbles fan? And uh, really think about that. This is named after their daughter, a cereal that we eat, ingest into our bodies. It's their daughter. So uh, so yeah, there you go. They got two other new flavors of cereal out. There's uh, banana, vanilla wafers, and a golden Oreo, I believe, are two other flavors of cereal. Not sure if I'm gonna get to them. I think this is only like my third or fourth uh, cereal review on my channel in four years. So I don't do them too much, but if I see one and it gets me excited like this one did, I'll knock it out for you. So I hope you enjoyed this little review and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. All right, bonus footage. Yeah, this got real soggy real quick, mainly because I was talking a lot. But, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Peanut butter, cocoa pebbles, and the milk, you know. The milk does turn chocolatey, in this case, peanut butter chocolatey. But, I mean, I think there's something to be said about Reese's because I love Reese's. It's my favorite candy of all time. Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups, the flavor of whatever they do to that peanut butter on the inside, mixing with the chocolate, kind of gives me a benchmark for what all uh, peanut butter and chocolate items and products should taste like. So I think that's why this may be coming up short. Again, a good cereal, just not uh, wowing me. And uh, I would advise you to wow me post. Wow me.